Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Star Citizen and welcome back to the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2954 or 2024 in Earth in, in, in real years, <laughs> reality years. Um, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want to get started in Star Citizen, use my referral link. It's down in the video description below. Also, the free fly is going on right now. Uh, you can also create a free account and rent all of these ships absolutely free up until December 5th and participate in the game just like a normal uh, backer would. So, uh, yeah, today is Aegis Dynamics Day. We've got the massive uh, Aegis Reclaimer. This is the gigantic salvage ship. Yes, that that is the cockpit right up there. You can see the pilot, the co-pilot seat. Um, yeah, this is the big uh, ship mun munching I almost said ship monkey, but no, it's the ship munching ship uh, to turn, you know, ships that you've destroyed or that you come across or just any other salvage into money. So, uh, yeah, definitely cool. Uh, we've got the Saber Comet. This is kind of like a little, um, I think these are medium fighters. I don't think they're light fighters. Oh. Uh, does it say? Let's see. Let's see what it says. It just says a stealth fighter. Yeah, see, we can we can rent this for zero for two days. So definitely check that out. You can do the same with the reclaimer. So like if you want to check out the reclaimer and fly it, you can hold the F key and it'll oh no, I did it. Now I'm gonna have two reclaimers. <laughs> But yeah, this ship is massive. I mean, just look at the look at the people walking around underneath it. And even the landing gear. Look at look at how big the landing gear is compared to this this guy here. Very cool. This was actually I th think my first or second really big ship. Uh is this the saber? This is the standard saber, I think. Yeah. Go into like a it's got its wings folded back because it's in landing mode, but you can actually, uh, when, you, when you take off and you bring the landing gear up, they actually fold up. Very popular fighter. Uh, not one of my favorites, I guess, for whatever reason. I've, I've never owned one, but, you know, I always feel like renting one. Maybe I'll rent one, just the base saber, just to say I did. And I'll try to go out and do some bounties in it. <laughs> Um, oh, let's find a map. Where is a map around here? I was really bad in the last episode because um, I didn't look at the map first to see what was on the floor. Oh, my gosh. Um, I'm going to just say my buddy Darren is a liar. Um, he's like, yeah, there's not much there. Literally every hall is open. I don't know what the heck he was talking about. Um, so, yeah, we've got the main hall. We just took a look at that. We've got the Eclipse, the Retaliator Bomber. Both of these are bombers. Uh, we've got the Vanguard, Vanguard series in Hall 5. Um, the Avenger Redeemer. Yeah, the Re Avenger series and the Redeemer in Hall 2. And then Hall 3, the Gladius and the Hammerhead. So um, I think I'll just work my way around clockwise. We'll go to 4, 5, 2, and then 3. Uh, so let's go do that really quick. Um, all of these are ships that have been in the game before. So there's nothing really new here. Um, but they're still cool to see. And I still like to show these these halls off uh, during IAE every year. But yeah, don't forget, like if you're if you know nothing about Star Citizen and you just want to try it out, um, you can create an account. They're doing a free fly right now, free fly event. Um, where you can create an account for free using my referral code. <laughs> hint, 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 nudge, nudge. Yeah, this is like a stealth bomber right here. Um, you can download the game and you can play just like a like a normal person um, up until the fifth of December. And you can also come in here and you know rent these ships and try them out, get inside of them explore them fly them all that good stuff and this is like also if you're getting ready to or if you're wanting to join the game if you just want to buy a starter package 
Um, there's a few really nice starter packages that are discounted right now, including the one with the new Crusader Intrepid, which I think is only $68. And because that is a new ship, the Intrepid is brand new. It just came out a few days ago. Um, it is, it, it includes lifetime insurance, which is kind of a coveted prized, you know, uh, Asset, asset is that the right word I'm looking for? But it, I guess it's a uh, it's a sought after feature because you know you're always going to have lifetime insurance and not it's not ever going to be an issue. Um, so yeah, we've got a van. Is this the Warden? No, this is the Harbinger. For some reason, it is hovering a few feet off the deck. I'm not exactly sure why that is. That one is. Half hovering there it's not but there it is what is going on with IAE today <laughs> yeah so here's just kind of a this is the torpedo version these are I think size 3 torpedoes then you've got the cockpit there and then the upper turret is right there which is also a manned turret uh, so that's the Harbinger. This is what? The Hoplite? Oh, this is the dropship variant. So it just has the seats for, you know, a few extra soldiers. This one, the Warden. Yeah, this one's the War... Yeah, this is the Warden. This one's just like the standard... Heavy fighter variant, um, no bells and whistles, does have the upper turret, no cargo, it's just a heavy fighter. I mean, that's a big fighter, too. Heavily armored, all that fun stuff. And then the Sentinel, this is kind of like your electronics warfare version, though that gameplay, still after all these years, is not in the game. But eventually, there's going to be kind of like this engineering station where you'll be able to maybe jam enemy radars and stuff like that. All right, back to the main hall. Ooh, it's got an attrition there too. That's a nice big gun. Do, 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 do. So we're gonna head, so yeah, we're up. Yeah, we're right here. We just went through hall five. Gonna run over to hall number two. Got our mining display here. Look at that monster! It, this is still this is still one of the biggest ships in the game. You know, you've got this ship, you've got the 890 Jump, um, and now the Polaris. Those, I think, are the three largest ships. And then kind of down from that, you've got like the Misk uh, Starfarer, which is the big refueling ship. Um, you've got the Hammerhead, which we're gonna see here in a few moments. And, you know, the Hull C is like the big cargo ship. That's actually it right, right there with its cargo grids unfurled. This is the cargo display. So the displays, I think, uh, stay the same day to day, but the uh, the main floors are going to change every day. I'm thinking that they're actually going to they're actually only going to do one vendor per day and not have the halls overlap. I, the halls are, I think, supposed to overlap, but for whatever reason, they're not. Um, still, arguably one of the best starter ships in the game. Right here is the. Avenger, the Aegis Avenger. This is the Avenger Titan. Um, really great ship. One of the cool things about it, you can come back here. It actually has a a ramp where you can act, you can fit like I know you can fit the uh, Gray Cat PTV. It's like the smallest rover in the game. Kind of looks like a little golf cart. But you got your bed and and your cockpit up there. And it looks really cool. Um, I really like the... It's it's kind of based off the space shuttle tiles, I guess. 
but it's got the tiles and it has like the thermal blankets on the top. Um, it's just a really cool ship and it's just a really nice ship to fly around in. Definitely great in combat up through probably medium risk, um, bounties. This is the Avenger stalker. I think this is the bounty hunter version. Let's look. I think this one is the one that has the little jail cells in the back. Yeah. So when bounty hunting comes online, you'll be able to subdue your bounty and then like lock them in here into these little jail cells up to six prisoners. You're going to be like a regular Boba Fett, like freezing them in carbonite. Um, in the center, we've got the Redeemer. This is the ship that was kind of based off the fan, a fan design. I've heard rumors that it might be go undergoing a slight redesign, mainly because so many people hate the landing gear, including myself. The landing gear on this thing is kind of weird. Um, and would kind of like to see that change. It just looks like, it looks like a really cool ship. Cause check this out. Let's look at it from the top. See if I can get my external camera to go up here. Like if you look at it from the top, it's freaking awesome. It looks really good. It is a heavy gunship, um, though they've down. I think they've downsized, downsized the turrets because the upper and the lower turret I think used to be size fives. Those look like size fours, and then these are size three. So I think they kind of nerfed the the punch that this guy used to have, but it's a, it's still a pretty darn cool ship. But I think that they could do better on these landing gear. Not to say that the landing gear aren't impressive. They are definitely pretty cool. I mean, look at the braid. Look at the... Yeah, look at the braids. Oh, gosh. You can't really... I can't zoom in any further than that. Those braided wires look flipping amazing. Come on. I thought I opened you. There we go. So it has two decks. The upper deck is mainly just, you know, cockpit and upper turret access. But... Um, Actually, upper and the chin turret access. But yeah, you've got like your bathroom in here, uh, be beds for the crew. Uh, I think it's got two SCU of cargo storage here. Um, not that you're going to make this your main cargo <laughs> ship for Star Citizen. But hey, if you needed to, to, to ferry around a couple boxes, then you could definitely do that. Uh, these are, I think, the shield generators. That's the chin turret access right there on the floor. Uh, the pilot seat right there. Um, oh, and then there's the two side seats. These are for uh, the front remote turret and the rear remote turret. The front re remote turret, I, I haven't flown this in a while, but it used to be pilot controlled. But when someone would take over, um, it would revert to their control and the pilot would lose control of that turret. Um, back here, this is kind of all your component access, shield generators and stuff. And then the upper manned turret right there. Um, and there's your quantum drive in the back. Yeah, all these panels all open up and you can see them right there. All right, moving on. Um, going back to the Avenger series, uh, there's the Renegade, which is the kind of dark blue and gold version. Um, this is kind of like the Titan, but it's a, it's kind of a slightly improved version, maybe. It just says this uh, Avenger Titan comes equipped with a specialized dogfighting focus lo loadout and... Excuse me, a custom special edition livery honoring this iconic ship. This is a really nice one. I don't think you can buy them in a game package anymore. Uh, you can upgrade to one, and I think you can just buy, uh, you know, purchase it outright. But one of the, yeah, look at look at the paint scheme. The paint scheme is really nice. Oh, if, and from this view, you can really see how it's kind of inspired by the space shuttle thermal blankets. And the tiles on the on the top there. That looks really nice. 
Um, and then, last but not least, is the... Uh, I think this is the Warlock. Yes, the Warlock. This one is an Interdictor, and it has a um, Quantum... I think it's like a Quantum EMP or something like that. Is this the one... Wait. Is this the one with the EMP? I gotta look. There's so many ships. There are over, I think, 150 ships and vehicles in, in the game right now. So it's hard to keep track of them all. It is an interdictor. Uh, vendor of, uh, stop ships. Don't destroy them. Probably the closest to a non-lethal fighter. The Warlock is outfitted with a bearing Rep 8 EMP generator capable of admitting a powerful electromagnetic magnetic wave to disable any electronics unfortunate enough to be caught within the blast radius. Yeah, this basically what you do is you spool up the EMP and then when you get in close to an enemy ship or, you know, an enemy player hit that EMP, all the electronics go down. The shields come down, everything and it's it'll they'll stay down for about 10 seconds or so. Might even be might be a maybe slightly longer, but I think it's around 10 seconds. And then you can just get wrecked in that period of time. So, yeah, whenever I see a warlock, especially in in a player's hands, it always makes my palms sweat a little bit, but that's one of the cool things about Star Citizen. There's all kinds of different strategies. Uh, on how to do uh, combat. There's some some other players there. All right, the last hall, we've got the Gladius. This is your kind of base light fighter. I think this is going to be the light fighter for Squadron 42. Check that guy out. Very cool. Flies great. Um, it's, it's shorter range, but it's kind of a nice little runabout. Like if you're just trying to get from place to place on a planet really quick, this is a great ship to do it. No cargo, though. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the Hammerhead. This is actually a gunship. It's got, I think, f six large turrets. There's, you can see two on this side. I think there's one up on the top there. Yeah, there's a man turret up there. There's two turrets on the opposite side. And then there's one right back there on the back. It has a pretty sizable cargo bay. You can actually fit an Ursa rover uh, and anything smaller than that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can... I don't think you can get a Nova tank on here, though I could be incorrect. I think the bigger challenge of the Nova tank would be getting it underneath this gun. I have to actually test that. I haven't uh, tried to actually put one in here, but um, you can see the uh, engines kind of flashing up on the, on the lower deck up there. The engineering level. I'm not going to explore it. I've done so many exploration videos of the Hammerhead over the years that um, if you search my my um, YouTube page for Hammerhead, you're probably going to find the Hammerhead tour. It's in there somewhere. And this is the. Let's see, is this the other variant of the Gladius? The yeah, the Gladius Valiant. Uh, the Masters of Flight series. Yeah, it's part of the Masters of Flight series in conjunction with the Flight Sim Arena Commander. The Valiant plays tribute to famed defense pilot Condi Hilliard, or Hillard, sorry, for being the first human on record to defeat a Vandal in combat. This Gladius comes equipped with a uh, specialized dogfighting focused loadout and a custom special edition livery honoring her iconic ship. Um... Is that is that livery different than the other one? ODP, okay. Is that is that different though? Wait. Whoops. Hold on. ODP. Let's let's run over there and look. It looks very similar, but I think it actually Yeah, this one doesn't have the ODP stuff on it. You know what? Of all the years I've been playing Star Citizen, I don't think I've ever noticed that before. And it seems like that one's a little bit darker green. Maybe slightly, maybe not. All right, let's head back. Yes, I know I'm wearing all white with a orange backpack. I'm, I'm embarrassed about it too. So just don't even remind me of it. <laughs> yes, Star Citizen is also a fashion show. You can actually buy 
just regular clothing in the game. Like if you wanted to take all your spacesuit stuff off and just wear, you know, a suit and tie to the showroom, uh, you can go to the the commons here on New Babbage and buy, you know, some nice clothing to to tour the halls with. Uh, Grim Hex has a clothing store. I don't know if Orison does. I think it's supposed to, but it's still not opened. Oh, the, here's the um, the Saber Firebird. I, this is the medium fighter. Uh, let's see, frontline skirmishes. Yeah, it's got the advanced. It's got the missile launch capability. Hello, hold on. I gotta fix my third person camera. It went up into the ceiling. I think this is, yeah, this is the variant that just came out over the summer. Not, I don't know. I just, I'm not, some people love this ship. Unfortunately, I am not one. I, I like the design, but it's just doesn't, it doesn't knock my socks off. Let's just put it that way. Ah, where am I going? I don't know. Let's see. And then, and then the Peregrine. This is the racing variant. Yep, racing. You can pause the screen if you want to read that really quick. Um, kind of the same thing, but no weapons. These don't have any weapons. So this would be pretty much a runabout. Definitely cool looking. And again, just not really my kind of ship. I don't think, I might have a Sabre as a loner aside from the one that I rented. Uh, but other than that, I've never bought one. Uh, and then back here, we've got the... Is this the Percy? No, the Nautilus. I always want to call this one the Perseus. This is the Mineling ship. Came out years ago. Still not out. Though, we might actually see this in the next year or two. Especially as they start to do more of the large ship uh, ships. <clears throat> the Aegis Vulcan. This is, I think, a repair ship. Um, yeah, medium repair, uh, medium refueling. It's quite a, it's a, not a tiny ship. You can see this is the cockpit area right up there. So, you know, one, one player is going to be up there. Um, I think it's going to have some light cargo capability, but other than that, you know, it's probably going to pull up. You'll be able to repair ships, uh, that are damaged and then refuel them if necessary. Just a little small ship like that and then we have the I aegis idris i actually own one of these um there are idris in the game that you can actually take over and pilot yourself i wish they would release the idris just for players i don't think that that's going to happen until squadron 42 is released so probably 2026 definitely frustrating considering i know that it's almost uh you know Almost finished. There's a couple little bells and whistles that they need to still do on the interior, but um, yeah. And that's about it. That I think, I think we've touched on everything in the show. Uh, tomorrow will be Misk, which is the Musashi Industry Starlight Concern, um, also known as Misk. And uh, in Mirai, and there are some rumors that Mirai actually will release a straight to flyable ship tomorrow. And if it's not straight to flyable, it might be a concept ship. We don't really know. I've heard it might be ready to go tomorrow and it might not be. So who knows? And I'm not going to go either way. Those are just the... The rumors that I've heard, nothing's been released to Evo Cotti or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, so we've got Mirai coming up next on the 24th and 25th, 25th and 26th, Alien Day. That's usually the most boring day for me. Uh, we've got RSI. And like at the uh, oh uh, Invictus launch week, which is back uh, towards the end of May, uh, we're going to have the Polaris at the show floor. You'll actually be able to come in and rent it for free again. Uh, 27th and 28th, Argo, Consolidated Outland, Grey Cat and Kruger. 20th and 29th, Drake Interplanetary, November 30, uh, 29th and 30th, Origin Jumpworks, Anvil Aerospace, 
on the 30th and December 1st. December 1st is Best in Show, and then the finale runs December 2nd to the 5th. And again, there is a free fly ongoing until the 5th. So create a free account. Use my referral link, create your free account, download the launcher, install the game, come on in, we'll show you around, and uh, you'll get to try out Star Citizen absolutely free up until the, the 5th. And if you want to pick up a game package there are a few game packages on sale right now to get you started so like share comment subscribe this has been inter the intergalactic aerospace expo in star citizen day number two i'm brad m73 and i'll see you next time bye for now